Inspector Razor Veins. For this boss, you'll need at least two priests and four tanks. You should begin this fight with the priest mind controlling an ad and taunting the boss. Your tank should be assigned to pick up an ad each. Tank the boss here. This allows you to easily line of sight his disrupting shout, which you can cast every 25 seconds. The main tactic is to keep subsequent mind controls on the ads to keep the boss tanked. When a mind control is almost finished, the other priest should begin mind controlling another ad to taunt the boss. When the mind control is finished, have your specified tank for that ad ready to pick it up. The ad should be healed whilst they're mind controlled as the boss hits way too hard for players to tank. Repeat this process until the boss dies, then kill the ads. Goth Chick Split the raid into two groups with equal tanks and healers. One side is melee, the other is ranged. Range goes on the live side, melee on the dead side. Range will want to prioritize unrelenting riders, then death knights, and then trainees. When you kill a mob on the live side, it will respawn on the dead side for melee to re-kill. Melee will want to prioritize trainees, then riders, then death knights, and finally the horses. The live side need to be aware of killing stuff too fast so the melee don't get swamped. After a time, the adds will stop spawning and the boss will teleport down to one side. He does a shadow bolt that does nothing, he'll swap sides every 40 seconds until he's at 40%, at which point the gate will open up and you can all nuke him down together, as a team. The Four Norsemen. For this fight, you'll want at least 8 tanks and 12 healers. Each boss puts a unique stacking dot on anyone around it for a while. Your job is to not go over 3 stacks. There is a safe spot in the middle of the room. You will be assigned a group and rotate in to attack the boss until you have 3 stacks. Then you go back to the safe zone. You will need to alternate which boss you attack every time you leave the safe zone, as your previous stacks will not have fallen off by the time you need to rotate back in. Healers, you will be in a group of three on each boss. You will not go to the safe zone. One by one, you will move clockwise to the next boss for every stack you gain. So the first healer in every group will move to the next boss as soon as they have one stack. The second healer will move at two, and the third will move at three. After the first transition, you will always stay at your current boss until you have three stacks, and then you move on. Each boss has their own separate abilities you will need to look out for. Thane Corthaz, this boss drops a meteor, which will need to be soaked by every person in that group. Lady Blumeau drops a void zone on the ground which needs to be avoided. High Lord Mograine, best server EU, has a dot that deals a lot of damage so prepare to heal the tank. Sir Zeliok does a chaining holy wrath that deals increased damage the more people it hits. Stand at max range and spread out by at least 5 yards to avoid this. Melee shouldn't attack this boss. Your DPS will be killing Thane and Mograine first. Once they are dead you will join the tanks and healers on the other side of the room and assist in killing them. The bosses, not the tanks and healers. <laughs> 